Hey guys, it's me, Ego here. Hi. Hello. Ta-da! Do you feel like you've seen these products a lot? I reviewed all the colors of Pear Paris Ink the Velvet Tint about 5 months ago, and now they came out with a renewed version. I brought all 13 colors, but they say that all the colors are renewed except for the 3 popular colors, which are number 2, Cell Up Deep Rose, number 7, Girlish Red, and number 8, Cell Out Red. So let's begin with looking at the design of the case. When looking at the design of the case, the renewed version has more sophisticated, vivid, and matte feel to it. But except for number 11 to number 13, these three carries a different design in baby pink. But in reality, the color of the tint is different from the color of the case seen on the outside, so if you are to buy these tints, watch till the end of my video before buying it. And also when looking at the applicator, the original one has a normal long shape, while the renewed version has a smaller sharp triangle shape, in which I think it's great to use when applying it thoroughly. The renewed version of the Ink De Velvet tint is thicker and darker than before, and has velvety texture like fresh cream. When spreading it with my finger, I think the color seems to last long just by the way it looks. Number one good brick is that it has a brick burgundy color, but when you actually apply it, it has a red chili paste mixed with a lot of red and seems to look great with warm autumn. When applied a bit thicker, it shows a brick burgundy color. Number two, Cell Up Deep Rose. While the original color has cool feeling, the renewed version feels warmer and is mixed with orange and has a higher saturation. It has a pure coral rose color, which will look great for warm spring and autumn. Number 3, Red Only has a mysterious red color, which I thought feels warm, but when applied, it feels cool with the red color. Number 4, Vitality Coral is said to be a lively MLBB pink, but when applied, I think it has a coral color with a lot of white mixed with pink. Number 5, Coral Official has a warm MLBB coral color. There's no big difference between when applied as gradation or full lip, as they both give off a feeling of pure coral. Number 6, Purity Red has the standard warm red color, which is a soft persimmon red color. When applied in gradation, it feels warm, and when applied in full lip, the color looks more vivid and clear. I think this will be great to use in summer. Number 7, Girlish Red, is the legend of all orange red tint. It has a clear red color with a drop of orange, which feels more orangish than before. I think this will look great for people with warm tones. Number 8, Cell Out Red, is the legend of cool tone reds. It has cherry reddish pink color with a bluish base tone, which feels cooler than the original. When applied lightly, it looks like hot pink, but when applied thickly, it has very clear, cool red color, which will look great even for the cool winter. Number 9 Sparkling Pink has a cool bright pink color with a fluorescent pink tone. I think it'll be great for people with cool tones who likes bright pink colors like this. Number 10 Better Orange I thought this will be an orange color like tangerines, but instead it has a red-orange color which looks similar with number 7. I feel that it's mixed with a bit more of a reddish tone. Number 11, My Coral, is said to have a coral color with orangish undertone, but when actually applying it on, I find it to be a warm brown orange. When applied lightly, I can see more of an orange color, and when applied thickly, I can see more of a brown. Number 12, Point Red, is said to have a red color with rosy undertone, but it actually seems to be more of a brownish pink coral color with a soft and pure feel to it. Number 13, Villain Pink, is said that it has a fuchsia pink color with florence and filling, but when actually applied, it has a very vivid pink red color of blossom. Having applied all the colors onto my arm, I can see they all feel warm and vivid. When removing only half of them, Pear Pera, which is famous for staining, has also been reduced to less staining formula. But the staining is still great nevertheless. Like this, I've sort of reviewed all 13 colors. Did you feel the difference between these and the original ones? I personally thought that the staining of the original one was too much and the renewed version got lighter, but instead it had a great application as it applied thickly. And I also felt that there is a difference between the texture and the different colors. The colors that have MLBB colors felt thicker as I applied and has less staining as it also had the texture that lasts longer in color itself. 
And for the bright colors, they're lighter and felt a bit more transparent and moisturizing when applied and stains more than those of the MLBB ones. Among these tints, there are some colors that were great when mixed and I personally like number 2 and number 5 and number 5 with number 12 combination of dry rose color. So this was my social review of all 13 colors of Pear Pear's Ink the Velvet Tints. Thank you for watching my video today. Don't forget to subscribe, press the like buttons and please leave some comments for me. I'll see you guys next time. Bye-bye!